Okay, hi everyone, it's Mike Heydrich. Uh, Going to give you a quick uh, status of where I'm at with the plasma setup. So I began the uh, conversion um, with working on the electronics and the controller. Um, so I'm running Command CNC, which runs on top of Linux CNC. And I've actually got it wired up to bench test it. So I've purchased the MP3600 setup, which is down here underneath my controller box. Um, I have that uh, attached to the bottom of that box there. Then inside here, I've got my um, I can show you a table I.O. card and my MTA150 uh, card. Those are, are currently um, connected into my controller box. Um, I cut some holes for the DB25 um, and ran those through tonight. Um, as well as uh, getting this box. I've also installed the mini PC right down there. Um, it's about 5 inch by 5 inch by 1 inch. Uh, so I've got enough to get the, the machine uh, jogging. Close that up. So I've actually already got it started and I've done temporary setup on my motors. Uh, since I'm running a Gecko G540, um, I also had to uh, wire it so that the ribbon cable, if I can see that right there, um, comes from it outside the, or comes outside of the enclosure and then connects to that G540. Um, that's what is connected to the MTA150 card. It's in there, and I'll show you that the machine is actually jogging right there. So I do have the machine functioning. Uh, so now I can begin to work on the actual uh, plasma. Um, I'm running a Hypertherm uh, Pyramac 65. Which I made another video showing how to install the um, serial RS-45 Modbus card in that. You can see that in my YouTube videos. Um, but then here's the CPC port as well. And then you can see that RS-45 uh, port that's installed. Um, this machine is actually uh, powered up. I don't have a torch hooked up to it. Uh, but you can see that... Um, it is there. I've got it turned down to 45. You can turn it up to 65 amps. So, anyways, I'm getting closer. Um, soon I'll begin to install some of the other uh, parts, the uh, sensors and stuff that uh, come with the Command CNC automatic torch height controller and the high T setup. So, I'll begin to install those. Um, also, I've got to do some plumbing and wiring on the Harbor Free air dryer. Uh, so I'm getting a little closer. Look at that plasma turned off. Um, you can see the, I got a hand torch and the machine torch both. There's the hand torch there. Um, and then I'm actually going to run a snap and cut um, plasma uh, connector on my z-axis and I also have the floating um, the Lux CNC z-axis uh, floating attachment that would change out so I'll take this plate off get rid of the router mount and uh, drill it for the actual mount for the plasma torch so get a little closer once again the machine is actually jogging and then uh, we can also um, go over here and run Commands. You can see the machine is actually functioning already. So, getting a little closer. It's Mikey. Have a great evening. Bye.